Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where I document my SMMA journey and my quest to go from zero to $10,000 a month as a complete beginner. I have absolutely nothing to sell you and the reason I make these videos is just to document my journey as well as I create a small community of aspiring SMMA owners. But today, I'm gonna tell you guys like uh, pretty much my worst sales call so far. Uh, the things that I learned from it and hopefully you guys learn something as well so you guys don't do it in your next sales call. I'll be pretty transparent with the numbers, what it took to land the sales call and how I found this business. So if you guys don't know, my agency focuses on e-commerce ads through TikTok, Facebook and Instagram. And I found this particular business that is based in the US through Facebook messages and it took me about 100 cold Facebook messages. I did some Instagram as well, but this client I did find through Facebook. And, you know, we jumped on the sales call and I think everything was going well. I did my pitch, I did my slides. I had, you know, I went over pretty much my entire presentation during the sales call and I got ready to ask to um, show the offer and kind of give him the price of how much we charge. And I decided Based on the size of this business, I believe he said at the time the business was making about $13,000 gross revenue. Um, I said, you know, we can charge him $1,000 a month and we'll bring enough value back that it'll be worth it. So I decided on the spot uh, that we would go with $1,000 a month and we would take care of his Facebook and Instagram ads, which they were doing at the time in-house. And I was going to do it for them better. And I was also going to manage and optimize it to get better results. And the goal was to go from 13000 to about twenty to $25,000 in gross revenue. Uh, so at the time, guys, I hadn't run any proper Facebook ads. You know, I did the email gadget course and whatnot. And I watched a lot of YouTube videos about Facebook. But I didn't know like proper... I had, didn't have proper experience, but I thought like I could learn along the way, give it a try and whatnot, and hopefully improve the results that this business owner was getting. And, you know, pretty much like that's the only way you can get better is by doing the thing itself. So I thought, let's go for it. Um, so he was like pretty okay with the price. He said like, that's reasonable. It makes sense. As long as you guys bring the value and whatnot, um, then I'm okay with that. And I thought he was like pretty close to closing and converting as a client for the agency but he had a couple few more questions and this is kind of like where everything went sideways in the sales call so the first question that he asked me was around he's he wanted to find out if i was a experienced media buyer so i think the question that he asked me was you know based on our conversation the numbers that he shared with me and what I learned about the product and the price point of the product that they were selling, he wanted to know what is the average cost per conversion that you think our business is doing right now? And at that point, I completely froze. Like, you guys have to know that at the time, yeah, I hadn't run any proper ads and I literally froze. I didn't know what to say. I think I just got a bit nervous in the sales call, I would say, and I just didn't know. So I told him like, hey, you know, I don't know enough about your business right now to give you a proper estimate of what that number would be, but we can talk about it after we onboard and I learn a bit more about your business. And so what he countered back was he said, uh, I think he started noticing that I didn't know as much as he thought I did about Facebook ads, but he said, you know, you should be pretty experienced in advertising, uh, you know, based with other clients that you have worked with. What do you think ballpark this uh, cost per conversion, average po cost per conversion would be for our business. And I literally froze. I had no idea. And I could tell that he, he knew that I was like not experienced enough to handle a client of his size. And yeah, I pretty much blew it. At that point, I said, you know, that my media buyer wasn't with me, um, but I could ask him and we could figure it out. But I think he knew at that point that we weren't as experienced as I had made it seem to be. And so, yeah, guys, I blew the sale. I blew, you know, it was going to be $1,000 and it was going to be recurring, um, which is fair enough. Like he knew and he probably could have done, like he knew that we couldn't deliver better results than when he was getting based on just a few very simple questions that if you're an experienced advertiser, you should know. So, the main lesson here that I kind of took away was 
regardless of which niche you decide to pursue and which platform you decide to advertise, you have to know your stuff, especially if you're going after e-commerce businesses. And the reason why is e-commerce business owners are very sophisticated and they know their stuff and they can smell BS a mile away. So yeah, if you don't know your stuff, they're going to call you out and it's just going to be very awkward in the sales call. If you do decide to outsource your work, you also should have a really good understanding of how to run ads, in my opinion, because stuff like this is going to happen. If he's asking you very specific questions, you know, CPC metrics, click-through rates, what to expect, or cost per conversion, things of that nature, or how are you going to scale my ads, very specific questions that only an experienced media buyer would know, then you're going to blow the sales goal. And so, yeah, basically from that sales goal on, I've decided to run ads myself to learn a bit about the platforms, about, you know, what cost per conversions we can expect, click-through rates we can expect, um, and just learn a bit more and become more experienced and not just watching videos, but doing the thing myself, which I think not a lot of people have talked about. You know, I think in the SMMA space, a lot of people right now are just saying, yeah, just outsource, outsource, outsource. But if you don't know the thing you're selling, then people are going to see right through it and you won't be able to convert them. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys learned from my mistake uh, and this bad sales call that I had. And with that, I hope you guys took something away from this video. I'll be creating a Discord group, I think, very soon where we can connect if you're an aspiring SMA owner and are wanting to start your agency. And we can hopefully help each other out and have like this healthy competition and grow together. So I'll be creating that soon and maybe I'll link it in this video or my next video. But thanks for watching, guys. And if you want to join this journey of getting to $10,000 a month as well, um, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on my next video.